At this ceremony today, the National Commission for Self-Help will distribute our services to you, the residents and people of Port of Spain, South and Laventer West. This event represents a culmination of sturdy effort on both sides. You, the recipients, demonstrated your tenacity and desire to improve your community, your environment and your homes. And the Commission supported you through commitment, dedication and the provision of these grants. The National Commission for Self-Help is a unique organization with particular drivers. Our mandate moves us to encourage people in the values of self-reliance and self-help. This in turn strengthens and empowers our citizens. At this ceremony here this afternoon, eight emergency repair reconstruction assistant grants and 52 minor repair reconstruction grants will be distributed to the residents of Laventer West and Port of Spain South. The Emergency Reconstruction Assistance Grants seek to help persons whose homes have been impacted by natural disasters such as windstorms, earthquakes, tornadoes, as well as fires and structural damage sometimes caused by flooding. The Minor Repair Reconstruction Grants seek to provide support for structural home repairs, maybe to replace a flooring, your galvanized sheeting, window frames, doors, steps, partitions, and in both instances, the grant require you, the recipients, to provide the labor component. So self-help as a value encourages the individual to satisfy their own needs and obligations through personal effort to the extent reasonably possible. And here at the Commission, we work to increase self-sufficiency and improve the community by providing resources for people to create better lives, better homes, and better communities. With the National Commission for Self-Help, a community-based approach does not mean that we leave you on your own to advance your projects, but rather we continue to support you. So even after you receive your grant here today, a project officer will be in touch with you to see you from start to the finish of your projects. And according to the United Nations, the ambitions of the Global Sustainable Development Goals are to put people at the center. And our very own Vision 2030 um, National Development Agenda speaks to putting people first and nurturing our greatest asset. This is because people are and must remain the focus of any and all community and national development efforts.